Hello. It is me. I am back. I am with Kat. If she wants to come sit with me. Drinking. Nope. She ran off. Oh. And yes, I'm wearing the greatest pants known to man. Race car pants that are way too short for me. <laughs> because the laundry machine is the devil. But, we are back, ready to go today. I'm gonna leave my door a little bit more open. Because she's probably gonna come back in here. Aren't you, Maisie? Maisie's probably gonna come back in here when she's uh, done with her business. But, how are we all doing today? There's a couple of things on my phone here. I'm gonna then kind of hide my phone in plain sight so I'm not as distracted. And where's my cat? My cat is using the little box, which is a girl. Girl's a girl. Why do I use the little girl? I don't know what I'm thinking. The answer is I'm not. But, we are here regardless to play some more Batman Arkham Knight, and full disclosure, I am not gonna lie, I love the Arkham series, I'm getting kinda tired of <laughs> playing Batman games, I kinda wanna do something else. Once Arkham Knight is done, once we're good and done with Arkham Knight, move on and play another game. <laughs> like. There's a part of me just like, I have played Arkham City, Arkham Origins, Arkham Knights. I want to do a different, <laughs> want to do a different game. We did Injustice 1, we might do Injustice 2, I don't know. I'm just... It's a lot. <laughs> if we do Injustice 2, I think the next game should not be comic book related. But still really nerdy, still very fun. That's just what I'm thinking. Let me turn my mic up a little bit. There we go. Look at that sensitivity now. Boom. Beautiful. Awesome. Where's my cat? Kitty, 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 kitty. Maisie. Maisie. You're playing with a... Give me a second. I got the culprit. Your paws are clean. All right. Here she is, the culprit, playing with the most disgusting hairball outside this room. Not hers. I think it's probably mine. I'm not gonna lie. But you're adorable. This is Maisie, or Maisie Mouse, as we sometimes call her, just because it rolls off the tongue. Are you Maisie? Maisie Mouse? She's getting bigger though. She fits in the arms a lot easier. Aren't you? You're getting bigger. Her sister today decided to be really cute in front of my computer. Yeah, Sophie was. Oh, you put your arm up. She is just absolutely adorable. with so much shit. It's hilarious. Aren't you adorable? Look <laughs> at she's sitting. 
All right, what she's watching is um, I have Cookie Clicker going on the monitor right where she's looking. And there's a lot of uh, numbers going up because I am not hiding the fact that I automate Cookie Clicker. For the record, I have 985.212 Vigintillion cookies. And I have, I don't even know how many, like, all the other, how much of the other shit. I got a lot of shit, I got a lot of cookies. There's only 10 achievements I have yet to get, and they only require me to run the game. Now! I would have gotten all of them if the game wouldn't have added a whole other category. Like last September-ish. Pissed me off. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm on track to getting it by like Valentine's Day or whatever. No. 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 It's 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 past yesterday was Easter. And I haven't had an achievement in months. And I've been running it nonstop. How many hours do I even have in Cookie Clicker? Just because I let it run. I got, it's been like a hundred hours, like actively like clicking and like trying to get all the achievements. Like this one where you have to actually ascend with exactly a trillion cookies. That one, oh my God. I wanted to claw my eyes out. It was gonna be so stupid. And there's other ones like um, getting like all the cook golden cookie clicks, getting all that stuff took me about 100 hours of genuine cookie clicker. My cat's on my bed. And then after I got like all of those achievements, it's been about 8,000 hours. I have 8,091 hours logged in cookie clicker. <laughs> if you played cookie clicker, for what four hours a day part-time job 20 hours a week of cookie clicker do you know how many I am using the number pad which I have as hotkeys do you know how many weeks of 20 hours a week, part-time job, how many weeks it would take you to catch up to where I'm at? 404. That is nearly eight years <laughs> of cookie clicker. This game is literally always running. All day, all night, I'm working, it's in another, it's 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 in a window. <laughs> it's just going. Like, Cookie Clicker is always running on my computer. I, it will run until I get all 637 achievements. Right now, I have 627. I am missing 10 achievements. Here's the 10 I'm missing. Most of them kind of coincide with each other. Sex Sextentennial and a half have at least 650 of everything. That is going to be one of my next achievements. I'm going to get like two in a day or two. I'm right on the cusp of a set of achievements. This is one of them. Um, what do you get when the baker who... What do you get for the baker who has everything? You want to bake 100 Univigentillion cookies in one ascension. I don't even think I've had a total of 100 Univigentillion cookies. Um, bottomless pit. Bake one duo vegetarian cookies in one ascension. Everyone, everywhere, all at once. Have 650 U. This is the, my next one. Once I get 650 U, I have 648 right now. It takes me a, it'll take me about a solid day, day and a half from where I'm at, from, to, from right now to get it. And that'll knock out two achievements. So it means I'll have 629 of 637 achievements. Excuse me. Uh, get, have 700 Cortex Bakers. This one's going to take me a while, but it's probably the one I would get after that. Um, have 700 U. That one will take a while. 
then Sept Centennial have at least 700 of everything. Rainy Day Fund. Bake 100 Duo Vigintillion cookies in one ascension. And a little extra, bake one Trevigitillion. Trevigitillion cookies in one ascension. And oh, oft we mar what's well. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I purchased 700 upgrades. Yeah. So those are going to take a while. Practically, it's get 700 U and then get everything else because everything else will fall in line. That's basically all I have to do. And I'm at 648, so I'm almost at the 650 U. I should get all of them. Once I get them, I don't know if you can hear my dogs or not. They just run outside. I don't know what's going to happen, but once I get all the, cook all the cookie clicker achievements, I don't know what I'm going to do because this game's been running for months. <laughs> months, I tell you. C cookie clicker doesn't even tell me when my last achievement earned was. I have to look it up. View my achievements. Um, I don't want to compare. I just want to find out. All right, so the latest achievement I have gotten was on October 9th last year at 6 p.m. on the dot. I earned an achievement for baking 100 septendicillion cookies per second. I have har harvested, harvested the sugar lump. I have gotten the goal. I have harvested the golden sugar lump, which is probably the, like, the biggest luck factor in the game. It's like a 0 0.02, 0 0.02. 0.02, something like that, percent chance of getting one at your best odds. You basically, what you want to do is just maximize your, or minimize the amount of time it takes to make sugar lumps. And the best you can make it happen is at like 18 hours. One per 18 hours. That's like the best you can do outside of cheating the game. Now, I've the only cheating I've ever done in this game outside of automation is when the game asks you to cheat. Now, I've modded the game, I have a, my farm running, I have um, the um, stock market running and an auto clicker. <laughs> what, what's up, Smoke? How's it going? How goes it? I'm just talking about my cookie clicker obsession. <laughs> I just did some math, and I'm not so proud of it. So... I have loved Cookie Clicker since I was in high school because I love how dumb it is. I remember playing it on the app back when I was in high school and I loved it. I realized it's on PC game as well. Doing good? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing well. Glad you're doing well. I realized it was a PC game. So I get it on Steam. And I start taking it. We were just playing Left 4 Dead? Oh, it's a good game. I haven't played Left 4 Dead in a long ass time. Specifically with Cookie Clicker though, I started playing it coming up probably about two years ago. Probably a year ago last summer. That's why when I started playing it on PC. And I took it moderately seriously for about the first hundred hours. Basically getting all the achievements that required me to sit at the sit at the chair. Like me sitting there actually messing around with the game, I probably spent about a hundred hours actively playing Cookie Clicker. Over the course of I don't know how many months. You like Francis? I don't remember any of the characters. I remember Coach. Um and after the first 100 hours and I realized basically like every other achievement is just going to be a matter of me just letting the game run, I let it run. And for the first 7,000, 7,500 hours after, <laughs> I had decided just to let it run, no auto clicker. I was just running the farms and that's it. The farm was the only automated aspect of the game other than automatically collecting golden cookies and sugar lumps. So cookies were automatically collected, sugar lumps were automatically collected, and um, the farm was automatically run for about seven, seven and a half thousand hours. And then only in the past 500 to 1,000 hours have I had an auto clicker running. <laughs> did you know Francis has a Hell's Angels tattoo? No, I didn't. I did not know he had a Hell's Angels tattoo. 
Do you notice something on my bed? Yeah. Right there. There's her head. There's her ear. Right there. There's her body. There she is. Kitten. Adorable. But, anywho, why don't we go and hop right on in to a little bit of Batman. But, ooh, I'm actually really happy. The entire Avatar collection has come in. All the comic books. All of them. Okay, I take that back. It's not technically all of them. I'm still missing, like, the, the screen comics where they, like, took the Zuko alone episode and made it into a comic book. That kind of stuff I'm missing, but all of the canon comics back there. Even Nick from Left 4 Dead has a ring of the Hells Angels. Really? Is it, like, part of the characters, or is it, like, Easter eggs? can't see her anymore. I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit so she's in frame. She has to look. Oh, it's part of the characters? Okay. There she is. We'll just do that. We'll let, we'll let her stay on the screen just a little bit. Alright. We won't hop right on in. I had the music turned all the way down. Right, now why can't I hear anything? Why can't I hear anything? What? You hate cats? What? What's wrong with cats, man? What is it you don't like about cats? If I just continue the story, is it just going to pick up the audio? No. They're lazy? I've seen some lazy ass dogs, man. Maisie. Are you lazy? Maisie. And maybe she might be a little lazy. I might have to restart the game just because we're not getting any audio. It's funny, it was just working. I just turned off the music just so that way it, you know, just have the other music playing. But if it's just going to be a pain in the, pain in the ass. And I'm just going to go back to Arkham Knights, play, and take two. We'll try this again. I clipped my nails so I can't open cans as easily. There we go. When in doubt, using the top of a toenail clipper, you know, this little part. It's right underneath the, the lid and you're able to crack open cans. So not the part you actually clip your toenails with, the part that you pinch down. And uh, cheers. There we go. Move my microphone just a little bit. There we go. Hey, Maisie Mouse. She's just sleeping. Maisie, 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 Maisie Mouse. <laughs> she gave me the side eye. 
Wait, didn't I actually level up anything? Oh, I didn't. Thought I did. What do you think Batman will do in a zombie apocalypse? Is Batman a survivor? Now that I think about it, how did Scarecrow know to go after your IT department? I mean, I had no idea she worked for you when I shot her. I just got lucky. Hmm. Seriously, I was aiming for her head. Bullshit. I'd only had a video camera when I swept Barbara off her feet. <laughs> Poor old Jimbo had to make do with a slideshow. <laughs> you say anything else? Assuming Batman's a survivor. I mean... I think he's gonna really just... Do well, like do just do well. I'm gonna actually hop out just because. So far, each stream we've done a different bat suit, and I think it'd be fun to choose a different one. So far, we've done the Pattinson one, and we've done. Um. I pressed the wrong button. I'm gonna close out of Steam. I was meaning to click Showcase. Oh my God. Showcase. There we go. I mean, he's he's gonna survive. And then until he gets overrun. That's the easy answer. I know a lot of people were wanting the bail suit last time, so let's go with the bail suit. You know. He's not wearing hockey pads. There we go. But we'll keep everybody else the same. Just switch Batman over into the Christian Bale suit. Hot take. Christian Bale was far from the best Batman. And there we go. Do the Batman Beyond? <laughs> uh, too a little late there, buddy. <laughs> Where the hell does this thing want me to go? Oh, it's directly down. How do you know his name? Because I'm perfectly, perfectly honest, when this game came out, my buddy spoiled it for me. <laughs> I read the comics, so I, like, I know the story that inspired the Arkham Knight. So with that, like, I know, like, where they took it from. Like, I'll give you a hint: is that in the comics, he was not called the Arkham Knight, and so. To be fully honest, I could see it coming when I was playing it back in like 2016 when I first got the game. And my buddy at the time confirmed, spoiled it for me. I was still going to be, my, 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 my suspicion was still correct. But 
I was so knee deep in playing basketball at the time. I never finished playing the game. I honestly, am, I think I'm further now than I was then. And um, my friend, like, he's like, "Do you think you're gonna finish it?" I'm like, "Not anytime soon." And this is still like 2018, maybe. He's like, "Yeah, it's it's so and so." I'm like, "Oh, okay." Another hint, it's not somebody we've seen within the Arkham universe up to this point. <sighs> this is honestly one thing I didn't like about Arkham Knight, is how much the game relies on the Batmobile. Now, the, is the Batmobile cool? Uh, hell yeah, it's cool. Does doing this get tiring after about the fifth time and there's like all it is is the same thing over and over again? Yeah, it, it, it gets kind of tiring and as soon as you kill, you know, one tank and three more come in, it's like, really? Like, and you can't go anywhere without running into more tanks. It's like, it just gets tired. It just gets boring after a while. Would I date Catwoman or Batgirl? Batgirl, man. Catwoman is so toxic. I shouldn't leave the car until the device has been dealt with. Catwoman is so toxic, man. I would 100% date Barbara. Barbara is such a like for what what's a good term? Not toxic. <laughs> How is she toxic? She's a fucking villain half the time. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Damn it. Wrong button. Really? Wait, am I supposed- where am I supposed to go? Because I just tried following this, but it's also where I just came from. Do you know what's kind of weird? I've seen that one animated movie when Barbara smashed- Yeah, which one was that? Which movie was that? It wasn't... I think it was Killing... Wasn't it Killing Joke? No, it wasn't Killing Joke. No, it was Killing Joke. Oh, now it's telling me to do this way. Okay, it wasn't telling me that earlier. Was... Wasn't wasn't that... Wasn't that Killing Joke? And here's one thing that's crazier. Um... There's a Batman story where Dick Grayson Nightwing comes back into town and falls back in love with Barbara Gordon. I mean, when he killed the Joker? I mean, when Joker kills himself. No. No. Joker... No, 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 no. He doesn't kill the Joker in Killing Joke. He is... He want, the Joker wants him to kill him. Joker wants Batman to kill him. But... It's Batman's weird sense of justice that he doesn't. And so, in The Killing Joke, it's really a Joker movie. That's the one where Joker shoots Barbara in the spine. I think they smashed before that. In the beginning of the movie. But there's a comic. Dick Grayson comes back into town as Nightwing. And falls back in love with Barbara Gordon. So much so that he, Dick ends up buying a... Uh, a ring to propose to her. But, while Dick Grayson was out of town, Barbara and Bruce had a thing. And Barbara's pregnant. But, whose baby is it? 
from No, in the movie, he does kill the Joker. Kill... doesn't kill the Joker in any movie. If you're talking about The Dark Knight Returns, Joker kills himself. Because Batman breaks his net, but Joker does the killing blow. It wasn't Batman Hush. He chokes the Joker and Bat. Are you talking about the Batman who laughs? I don't see any giant clouds of fear gas. Batman happened. You went in. Are you talking about that that series? Like that's not in a movie. The Batman who laughs is a comic. It's not a movie yet. So he's as good as the Arkham Knight says. Yeah, he is. How did the Arkham Knight know the police commissioner's daughter was working with Batman anyway? I know what movie you're talking about, but I, number one, I don't remember him killing the Joker, and number two, I don't remember the title. He even did it in the Batman anime series, like, Batman, like, Batman Ninja from 2018? Well, better believe it there, buddy. I'm talking to the the the, the goon NPC. He did that in the Batman anime series when he dated Batgirl. Okay, well if it's specifically like Japanese anime, then I unless it's Batman Ninja, Kevin Conroy's voice. Japanese anime. That Batman anime series. Keep that drone circling at all times. Like the animated series? Oh, Batman anime. There's Gotham Knight. Alright, so it sounds like you're talking about Gotham Knight. So, when Nightwing was Robin and he gets all mad and he punches Batman, yeah, this looks like it probably would have been Gotham Knight. Now that being said, I don't see Barbara Gordon in the cast list. So I haven't seen every movie. You know, it's called oh, Bat just just flat out Batman the animated series. Well, yeah, I watched Batman the animated series, but I don't remember him sleeping with Barbara Gordon in that series. I remember Dick punching Batman. I've seen that episode. But I remember Batman and Barbara Gordon getting together and hooking up in a different movie, like The Killing Joke, which is, I want to say, when that happens. He punches him as Robin, then goes off to become Nightwing for the new Batman Adventures when Tim Drake takes the Robin role, which then leads to the Batman Beyond series, which has the Batman Beyond movie, which explains that Tim Drake became the jo how Tim Drake would become the Joker, unwillingly become the Joker. Alright, so let's just explain that he's covered. You think Batman will be stupid enough to come after the bridge controls? Alright.
No, Bad and Beyond, he shows his lovers that in that show with pictures. You can see Barbara Gordon. Maybe that happened in that series too. I'm talking like um, Batman and Barbara Gordon do the, doing the horizontal no pants dance. Kind of, you know, shit going down. Not necessarily like hooking up. Like, not necessarily like be, like actual romantic relationship. I mean like, you know. You know what I mean. Maybe the knife will have us hit Metropolis next time. <laughs> no way, man. You think the bat's tough to kill. You don't want to go up against the other guy in the cape. This is worse than Deathstroke. What do you mean by this is worse than Deathstroke? What's the status on the drone? Systems online, running clear in all sectors. It's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Have you read the Deathstroke comics? Not like titled Deathstroke. I've read comics with Deathstroke in them, but I've not read like the Deathstroke comics. Minicomic Sleeping with Terra? That wasn't a Judas contract, was it? Tales of Teen Titans Judas contract? Oh, but it's not canon, so yeah, it wouldn't be Judas contract, unless it. You count, like, the Crisis of Infinite Earths resetting everything. Wrong one. <laughs> yeah, let's do this contract, yeah. Destroys his own drone. Placing mine on vantage point. But what if not on a vantage point? I don't know why DC made them like that. It happens in every comic series. Not just DC. Don't forget the story of what happens to Mary Jane after too much, um... Too much spectacular Spider-Man if you catch my drift. There's always comic moments that made you make you want to just go, what the fuck is going on? It's not just DC. Hi, Joker. Isn't that Barbara's job? Alright. In all the excitement. How's it going, Nick? How are you? You don't really believe old Jimbo's gonna forgive you if you save her. He holds a garage bat. I should know. Alfred, I've re-enabled the bridge controls. Marvelous. 
But uh, Deathstroke being a weirdo is not canon. No, he's still a weirdo. He's just <laughs> not a pedophile. <laughs> you see, professionals have standards. Except in like half of the com, ha like every Batman comic I've read in the past, like two weeks, and there's like sixty of those. They're a thing. <laughs> what? Who would win in this? Is goons? Get your brain thinking very, very hard. Etrigan or Silver Surfer? Silver Surfer. Power Cosmic and pretty beats pretty much against anything in comics, dude. I have one already. I will mock your attempts to solve my conundrums. I will stand triumphant over your bloody corpse. And as the dim light fades for good in your tiny dullard mind, your final thought will be how I have bested you. Come to the orphanage, detective, or she dies. Why does he look like Robin Williams? <laughs> I know Robin Williams was like in line to play Joker in front of Jim Carrey in 95 in Batman Forever. But like... That looks a lot like a young Robin Williams crossed with Jim Carrey. Etrigan or Captain Marvel? Etrigan. How is this joke weird but not a pedophile? Because I said so. <laughs> not a whole lot of thought went into that answer, I'm not gonna lie. But Etrigan versus Keth Marl, it's that 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 goes to Etrigan because Etrigan's immortal. Or yeah. But the only reason I say Silver Surfer is because of the power cosmic. Johnny Charisma. Oh, hey. Dang good donuts. Ooh, you guys want some dang good donuts? There they are. Dang good donuts. Do I like Deathstroke? Yeah, he's a super cool villain. No way. I heard they were like sword fighting in the old Arkham Cemetery and swords. Does that sound like I mean, he's the villain in like one of the greatest comic book stories ever told in the Judas Contract. Batman had the cure but didn't give it to him. He kept it all to himself even All right, riddle me this, fellas. What do you call the guy who takes down the bat? Uh, I don't That's what Thank God it's not. The riddle guy? Nah. Thank God it's not I, what? Trust me, this guy's IQ is through the roof. You wanna catch oh, it's not canon. Light, you need to be smart. Enigma's smarter than all of you's put together. All of you's. So smart. How come the bat's still out there? Enigma's got a plan. You'll see. You don't believe me? Go ask Cap. It's Batman! No. I'm super sneaky. Okay, how? Alright, whatever. Fine. Because that'll ruin Deathstroke's character. I mean... You can you could look at every single character, canon or not, and there is always at least one thing that ruins that character for somebody in some way. For example, my favorite DC character of Nightwing. There, I forget which story it is, but there's a story, and I always forget which girlfriend he did this to. But it was between Starfire, or Coriander, is her na real name. Then you have Barbara Gordon. I forget who he did what, I forget 
what? Which one he was, like, actually with at the time. But he was going to marry one of them. As he goes to give the RSVP to the other, he sleeps with her, gives the other girl the RSVP to the wedding with the other girl, and, like, Nightwing, like... I love, like, I love Nightwing. I love Grayson. He's a, he's a really cool character. He can't keep it in his pants. There's an example right there. <laughs> yes, I know a female Thor, Jane Foster. I have unfortunately seen the, uh, the atrocity that is Thor, Love, and Thunder. Yeah, I don't like what they did. There's always going to be something that you're not going to like. So, here's a piece of advice for all of us comic fans. There's shit that happens that we like. There's shit that happens that we don't like. Here's an example of something that I don't like. And for some reason, I happen to own this. The Rick Grayson arc on Nightwing. I haven't even read this, but I own it. I don't know why I own it. But I own it. This is the stupid arc where Dick Grayson gets hit in the head and then decides to go by Rick Grayson and becomes a massive dickhead. And it's so edgy in a bad way. It's cringy. Like, I get it. His name's Dick. It's 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 not good. Like the the name Dick is not aged well. But his name is still Dick Grayson. Like, you don't change that. But he gets a bullet to the brain. And so his scar is in the shape of Nightwing for artistic expression. And that's what he looks like. Shaves his head. Literally right there. He's now Rick Grayson. This is the dumbest arc in Nightwing history. And I am a massive Nightwing fan. Thankfully, after this story, same timeline. This story is still being published, by the way. So if you buy these from your local comic book store, you will be able to finish this series in time for the finale. It is my favorite Nightwing story. It starts with Leaping Into the Light. Written by Tom Taylor. This is... A Incredible. Leaping into the light, going into Get Grayson, into the battle for Bloodhaven's heart, and then the leap. And then after the leap, the, there's one more part, it's not out yet. This is phenomenal. Did I look up Sauron from Marvel? No, I did not. I was very busy in making sure that Booster Gold theme came out on time. I wanted to make sure that Booster Gold theme came out in March, and I would be damned if it didn't get out. And I have a full-time job. And a life outside of YouTube. I did not get the chance to look up Sauron from Marvel. Remember Sauron is the bird dinosaur character from Marvel? Nope. Like I said, I didn't look it up. I'm just looking around, just seeing if there's anything here to interact with. It was be disappointed of Deathstroke, but finding out that it's not canon. It's not necessarily it's not canon, it's just not in the timeline that DC's writing it anymore. Crisis on Infinite Earths basically said, we like all of this in comics, we don't like all of this. This will all still there, but everything is now resetting. You told, you told me that? Okay, then I don't remember that. I hit A. Girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark knight. 
we're leaving. But it's not real in the real DC universe. Can I drop a little um, fun fact? The DC universe is still not real. It's all still written in comic books and <laughs> shown in movies. I'll be perfectly honest. I don't pay attention to what's canon and what's not canon. I just read fun stories. <laughs> That's what I do. It's like, this story happened. Whether it's canon right now or not, I don't think really matters. That being said, that means I don't get too high when I read something, and I don't get too low when I read something. Because I don't worry if it's canon or not. I worry if it's official DC product or official Marvel product or Dark Horse product or Image product or... I worry if it's official product, I don't worry if it's canon or not. That's at least me. So, you do you, and because, yeah, if effectively then that, then everything that happens before Crisis on Infinite Earths never happens. That means the Killing Joke isn't isn't canon that means the dark knight returns isn't canon that means oh geez what else watchmen of course is canon to its own universe um i know sinister core war and blackest night are still canon um all-star superman would still be canon pretty much like uh death of superman no that was 90s death of superman was early 90s that was after crisis on infinite earths that was crisis infinite earths was Hey Google, what year did the comic book Crisis on Infinite Earths come out? 1985. 85. According to Wikipedia, Crisis on Infinite Earths is a 1985-1986 American comic book crossover storyline published by DC Comics. So there you go. Uninspired underbelly. So anything pre-1985 is no longer canon. 40 to 50 years of DC published material no longer technically canon right there. But still there to read if you enjoy it. Either as a collector's item or any of the such. Is that a good thing? That's up to you. To me, I don't care. The comics exist one way or another. So for me, I just enjoy reading the comics. I don't care if it came before, after Crisis and Infinite Earths, because I see it more within the real life, like, creation of the comics and evolution of the characters. Like, what's a good example? Barry Allen dies in Crisis on Infinite Earths and becomes Wally West for a while, but then they brought in Rebirth. Or was it New 52? It might have been New 52. And they brought Barry Allen back. And Barry, Barry Allen made, became the new um, permanent Flash, for the like, main Flash for a while. Even though Wally West was Flash forever. Um, so in that sense, if you were looking at just the new stuff, then that would be a good thing because it simplifies the story. So if it's not, not canon of Deathstroke, people will still like him. People are always going to like Deathstroke because he's an interesting villain. Some may argue that because Deathstroke did have relationships with Tara, Tara, excuse me, because Deathstroke and Tara had a thing, Deathstroke had a thing with Tara, I should say, that because that's so heinous, that makes him a better villain because he's more evil. Some people do like the evil for the sake of evil Joker, Green Goblin type evil villains. And some people prefer the Thanos, the... Um, uh, Two-Face, um, you know, those very, you know, Doc Ock, the misunderstood, I'm the hero of my own story villains. Some people prefer one way or the other. Not one is set to be the right one. Yeah, you can do the repressed desire routine later. Go get my key. I like him because he's a rebooted character. Fair enough. 
try to open it too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Admire the view when my head's not wired to blow, okay? Wait, 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 wait. Merge is, wait. Numeracy 101, Intro to Physics, Advanced Death Traps. Yeah, I bet it's over here. No. You didn't like him in the Judas Contract. Fair enough. What's your fa what is your favorite story with uh, Deathstroke? Do you think Batman 2022 is a dark movie? Yes. <laughs> I think it's an unbelievably dark movie. It's, I've been waiting for a dark Riddler story for years. I wanted one so bad. Paul Dano was not my first choice for Riddler, although he did phenomenal. My first choice for the Riddler was actually going to be David Tennant. I think he would have made a phenomenal Riddler. What am I supposed to be doing? <laughs> I get it. Rescue Oracle from the Dark Knight. Or Arkham Knight, excuse me. Yeah, I get it. I get that. What am I supposed to do here? Am I just supposed to leave? It's unlike you to get caught. Was it an ambush? Favorite like universe Batman. of Deathstroke is the Batman mo yeah. Batman universe. What? <laughs> he said he had a job. Like 2004's Batman animated series. There's a, there's a lot of just Batman. Am I just supposed to leave? Don't keep me waiting. Sir, I regained control of the I think I'm supposed to just leave her. I just fucking left her. Well, okay. Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? But if he's a rebooted character, then you like him still as a character. Okay. Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Will you go live on my birthday? Uh, probably not. And my birthday's in December, so... <laughs> We're still about nine months out for my birthday. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna leave the Riddler alone for right now. We'll focus on the story. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon, safety is on the I did post my um what I would do for the Batman sequels video. I did post that on my birthday. But I had that scheduled to just to happen to be going up on my birthday. I didn't actually work on the video on my birthday. Like the thumbnail was already made, everything was already done like the night before, but I didn't want to post it at like ten o'clock at night, so I had it go off at like ten or nine or ten in the morning on my birthday. Which fun fact just crossed eight thousand views. Birthday's May twenty eighth. Well, happy early birthday. I just realized today is April first, and I haven't done anything for April Fools because I just haven't. I just haven't like cared too much about April Fools. Is April Fools a thing in Australia, Nick? Do you even know what I'm talking about when I say April Fools? Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Neighbor Fools. Neighbor Fools. Oh, shit. I, I'll, I'll get to those in just a second. Yeah, you know what I'm 
what you're talking about. Maybe Fools, my friend, has a birthday on that day. Well, it's today. Uh, yeah, Deathstroke is a good villain. I hope they don't ruin it do like they I weirdly didn't mind the Judas contract. Now, why the hell, like, hey, we're gonna give you the Batmobile. What, alright, can I, do I get to, like, do, like, really cool battles with shit on it? No, we're just gonna throw a shit ton of tanks at you and it's never gonna fucking end. Oh, so I don't actually get to enjoy, like, speeding around on this thing? Nope! Oh. Okay. I just came from this way. What the fuck? It wasn't loading earlier. You saw that, right? I didn't like it because it offended me what they did to Deathstroke. Fair enough. You have the right to your own opinion, even if it's different than somebody else's. Yeah, because let's have only fucking tanks. Oh, I really... If it isn't clear, I really don't like the tanks and being forced on the Batmobile so much in this. It's a good thing they rebooted him so you can still like the character. You can like the character beforehand. You don't have to, you know, not, you know, have a thing with Terra for you to enjoy him as a villain. Like, just because you didn't like it doesn't mean somebody else might have liked it. It's not like he, him doing that made him unlikable as a villain. He's a villain. He's going to do shit that people aren't going to like. He's going to rub you the wrong way phrasing intended that way. Okay, I think this is as far as I ever made it. Because I vaguely remember this, like, part of the story. So I think from this point on is like uncharted territory for me. Must have taken Oracle and moved on. I should examine the vehicle more closely. But just think, do people like what he did with Terra? No, but since he's a villain, are people supposed to like what he did with Terra? Or are people not supposed to like what he did with Terra? Like as a villain. I think it's okay that people do or don't like it. It's just a matter of what you expect from a villain. Traces of pepper spray on the right side of the driver's face. Oracle must have been in the passenger seat and deliberately caused the crash. Clever. I should check the area where she was sitting. Here we go. The door was torn off during the crash. If I can find where it came to rest, I can determine exactly what happened. You sample what they did of Nightwing that was canon. You you give me a sample of what 
Nightwing did that was canon that was unlikable. Okay. I mean, I'm still going to stand by the Rick at Grayson arc being really, really stupid. Right, there goes the door. Because you didn't like what he did, it was is it canon? Where she landed. Because I didn't like what he did, it is can is it canon? Yeah, the, the Rick Grayson arc is canon right now. The Rick Grayson arc happens just before that those uh, four books I showed you. And that's still being written. The fifth part comes out later this summer, I think. Can I move faster? Okay, name one comic book that is, but that is not canon in a character's universe. Like, any character? Dark Knight Returns? Beth in the family? This came out like the same year as um, Crisis on Infinite Earths. So, technically it's not canon. Another reason I can tell you why it's not canon is because it has a, a Robin that is only ever seen in this story. That Robin... Where's a good image of her? Yes, a her. Robin is a female in this. Side note badass fucking photo of Batman. But we're, oh, Robin doesn't show up until after that battle. That's Robin. With like the orange hair and the green goggles. Her name is Carrie Kelly. And she's only ever canon in this book. That's it. It's the only story she appears in. And so that's one reason why people say there's technically five canon Robins. And only four of them are main. Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, and Damian Wayne. Stephanie Brown was Robin for a few issues. And you have Carrie Kelly, who's only canon to this book, The Dark Knight Returns. So, boom. Big book not canon it's its own thing and you can still enjoy it without it being in the mainline universe uh, what's another story that technically isn't canon anymore um is it not canon? No, because it came out before In Crisis of Infinite Earths. There was another one, Death in the Family, Death of Jason Todd. This is an original one from the 80s. Literally, how do you know? Because there's the ad where if you called one number on this screen on this page, 
it was a vote for Jason Todd to die, and the other number was a vote for Jason Todd to live. Rumor has it that there was a gentleman who automatically had a, his phone call out to the vote for Jason to die. He, in the 80s, was able to figure that out. And if, it, if that's true, depending on how fast the rate of calls were that he was able to make, could have been the deciding factor in Jason actually living or dying. I.e., if he didn't do that, Jason Todd might have survived that comic, and we would not have the Red Hood the way we have him today, if at all. We made a new Deathstroke series? Okay. I, I just haven't read it. What's it about? It's a show? Okay. What's it about? Took a while. <laughs> Mr. Way, Lucius, Oracle left me this scrambler device at the scene of the crash. Decrypt the data so I can pinpoint the Arkham Knight's location. Ah, this kind of thing was more Miss Gordon's specialty. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take me a little while. I'll meet you at Wayne Tower when you're ready. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's most wanted. One moment, sir. Right, these two are just in. A mysterious hooded figure has been spotted on a rooftop in Grand Avenue. It's about that stroke. His son gets kidnapped and he has to save him. And his son gets his throat cut so he basically can't talk and gets kidnapped again and that stroke finds out he has a daughter. Ooh. Interesting. Excuse me. I'm heading to Wayne Tower. If we can decrypt the Arkham Knight security protocol, we should be able to track his location. If he thinks he can hide from you, sir, he's in for something of a surprise. And daughter, is it safe in America, Kevin? It depends on where you go. And the daughter gets mad at him because. He left his wife to die. Yeah, sounds like Deathstroke. 
is it safe in America is a very... It's a question with a lot of answers. It depends on where you go. If you go to somewhere like, say, New York City, it's inherently going to be more dangerous because you're in downtown New York City. If you go to, like, south side Chicago, you're you're not going to make it very... Holy shit! Kirk... Kirk Langstrom, what the fuck are you doing? And so, um... Have heard of the ghetto? Yeah, that's that's what Southside Chicago is. Same thing as like North Minneapolis. Like that's just somewhere you don't want to go. Like North Minneapolis is a ghetto up here in Minnesota. You don't go to North Minneapolis unless you need to be in North Minneapolis. For whatever reason. No one just goes to North Minneapolis just to hang out. Thankfully, I can say I've never lived there. Applied at a job at a Rebel Sport. Cool. Is that like a sporting goods store? Nice of you to drop in, Mr. Wayne. I suppose you weren't really dressed for the front entrance. Damn, nobody plays this game anymore except us. Yeah, pretty much. Have you met a gang member, Kevin? Uh, not like actively knowing if they were a gang member, but it's possible that I I met somebody who was one that I just didn't know they were. Did I? So the answer your question: Did I ever meet a gang member knowing that they were a gang member? No. Did I ever meet a gang member suspecting that they might have been part of a gang? Yes. Will I talk about who they are? No. Because I haven't talked to this person in years. Actually, technically, yes, I have met a gang member knowing that they were past tense in a gang. Now, no. How hard have you found it, Kevin, to get yourself a job? For me, not too difficult. Um, my folks raised me to know how to carry myself. That's like... My parents gave me a lot of great life lessons in terms of presenting myself and carrying myself. This YouTube thing weirdly got help. This this YouTube thing helped me get the job I have now. What do I mean by past tense? Uh, I met somebody at the time was not in a gang. In this person's past, they were in a gang. They were a gang member in the past. They are not. They were not a gang member then nor now. Nor did I ever ask this person about that about that time in his life and that's all I'm going to talk about that because that's all I know so when it, going back to Nick's thing no so this YouTube thing actually helped me get me a job because right now I work in sales and so I have to sell things I have to talk people into why they want something I have to that's what basically what I have to do I have to explain I have to talk to people into wanting to buy something. And luckily what I sell is risk-free. There's, I don't like pull wool over people's eyes and like, oh, oh, I tricked you. You know, it's like, this is what I have. Are you interested? Like, if you're on the fence, I can, you know, lead you toward my side. But, you know, ultimately it's, ultimately it's not like life or death type of sales. Either way, I'm not going to go too deep into what my job is. But because this YouTube thing is effectively me going in front of a camera selling myself to you guys it was enough to that I mentioned in my interview because I mentioned I'd do this for fun in my interview that it helped me land the job really because you're an ex gang member interesting I'm not gonna pry for any information so if you want to talk about it you can I'm not gonna be asking any questions about it I mean there's a lot of things I want like one trillion like one billion dollars i want to meet your favorite youtubers you want to meet lots of famous actors and actresses i want things to be free i mean nick i'll be perfectly honest with you with a lot of a lot of the stuff on your list one phrase i heard a lot growing up whenever i said i want this or i want that you can shit in one hand and you can want and hope in the other and you can see which one fills up first yeah, I never went full time. I was only there for a little bit. 
Okay. Like I said, I don't want to ask any questions. I just, I, I'm not going to pry it too much on that. But like, because you realize things that they were doing was stupid and nobody want, was making you money. So you quit doing your own thing. Well, good for you for getting out. Now, I, I'm sure that is like a, a very interesting story, Smoke. I'd love, like, I, I, I'm just going to kind of step in here and let's, let's stop talking about gangs because I, I, I don't want that to be talked about much on this channel. And so, good for you. Good for you, living a normal life. Do I even have, go, by going to Nick here, like, talk. Him, you mentioning your the famous actors and actresses you want to meet. I made a list actually of like if I ever got a chance to meet these people, like which celebrities would I want to meet? Do I still have that list? If I do, I'll share it really quick. Ah, I got it. Apply to so many jobs, like a like a box full. You can, here's, a, here's another piece of advice. Apply for as many jobs as you can. You would rather be in the position of telling them no than hearing nothing at all. So it's a good problem to have too many jobs want you because then you have your pick and you get, the, you get the blessing to tell somebody no and pick somebody. I worked a lot of different jobs. I worked a few. It's the best feeling in the world when you have three to four options and you can, you know, check all of your possibilities and then go for it because you know that they're going to want you. Here's my list. I'm going to read this. List of people I'd love to meet. <laughs> you might not know everybody on this list, but I'm just going to read them off anyway. I'm just going to start with the left column, go down, right column, go down. This is in no particular order, by the way. Henry Cavill, Ewan McGregor, Selena Gomez, Ryan Reynolds, Patrick Warburton, Brendan Fraser, Neil Patrick Harris, J.K. Simmons, Jason Momoa, Andrew Garfield, Matthew Lillard, Liam Neeson, Hugh Jackman, Drew Barrymore, Tom Hardy, Daniel Radcliffe, Brenda Song, Jennifer Lawrence, Hayden Christensen, Pedro Pascal, Willem Dafoe, I think that's 26, Dan Povenmire, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Danny Elfman, Hans Zimmer, Michael Giacchino, Dave Grohl, Alton Brown, Derek Wibley, Victor Wooten, Tyler Joseph, Ray Park, Mark Rober, Jack Black, John Favreau, Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, John Williams, Chris Nolan, Quentin Tarantino, the band Muse, and Einar Selvig. I don't expect you to know who everybody is on that list, but that is my list of 52 people. Technically, 54 people. Muse is a trio, so it's two more people. So if Technically, 54 people I would love to meet one day. You'd like to meet John Bernthal? He's cool. <laughs> meet uh, Shannon Sossaman. Also, Ed Norton. Want to meet Willem Dafoe, Leonardo Nam, and Leonardo DiCaprio. Great choices. I think the people on here I'd like to meet the most, I'd love to sit and play, like, magic or something like that, or just talk, like, nerdy shit with Henry Cavill. That sounds like so much fun. Selena Gomez I'd love to meet just because she seems so down to earth. I was a massive Wizards of Waverly Place fan when that was still on Disney Channel. I watched that show all the time. I loved it. And she actually had a kidney transplant. My family had a kidney transplant. So, like, I think that that's a really cool connection. I'd love just to talk to her about, like, just life. I think Selena Gomez would just be a really cool person. Avatar is amazing. Like, Avatar... Avatar or like James Cameron's Avatar. Both are amazing. Um, Dan Povenmire. Who's the guy that played the old man? In Avatar? Like Last Airbender? 
or James Cameron's Avatar. But, like, Alton Brown would love to sit down and have a beer with Alton Brown, just because he's, he just seems so cool. <laughs> um, um, who else on here? Brenda Song, the cartoon show, the, man, the guy who played the old man, like, Uncle Iroh, that would have been Mako, and then Greg Baldwin. Mako passed away at the end of season two, so Greg Baldwin filled in the voice of Aku from Samurai Jack comes in to replace the voice of Uncle Iroh in Season 3 and Legend of Korra. So Mako was the original voice of Uncle Iroh. If you're talking about um, Fire Lord Ozai, his brother in the show, he was voiced by Mark Hamill. But Patrick Warburton's probably the funniest guy on this list. He's right there like, above Brendan Fraser, underneath Ryan Reynolds. Patrick Warburton... Here is the only reason I want to meet Patrick Warburton. You ready for this? I'm going to switch over to my Be Right Back screen, but I'm I'm not leaving. So, this is just so you hear my voice. And you don't see me. You ready for this? I don't think you're all ready for this. Oh, hey. Uh, hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. Hey, Peter. I'm not handicapped. I'm crippled, Peter. Uh, is that that same B? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. All right. The poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen especially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison? Catch covered. Oh, yeah. Can you do that one where he's clean his chair? I don't know what you're talking about. Where he's clean his chair. Oh, like uh, when I'm cleaning my wheelchair, Peter? Oh, Peter. Peter, you can't be doing that, Peter. There was a scene in the Big Bang Theory where Chinese nerds watched Leonard and Sheldon fight. One of them said, what, loser? And he said, yeah, gigantic American geeks. Yeah. I haven't watched Big Bang Theory in a long time, dude. I've, like, I haven't seriously watched that show since I was probably 15. I know it's done, and I watched the finale, and the, they, they ended it perfectly. Like, they ended the Big Bang Theory very well. Yeah, that's a list of celebrities I would love to meet one day. But yeah, I can do the... Patrick Warburton. Hey, Peter, Peter. Peter, you can't be doing that, Peter. Also made a game with that scene where you would name countries. Hmm. Muy interesante. Do I like root beer? I do. I also like regular beer. This is just a uh, Summit Pilsner. Sponsored by the Minnesota Twins. My hometown baseball team. But I do like root beer. Barks is the best. Well, Barks is the best of the main ones. IBC is also really good. And AMW. Mug root beer is not root beer. It is a travesty to this to mankind. Do not buy mug root beer unless you hate yourself. Enhance. Got it. The night's transmitting from the Miyagani Tunnel Network. Glad to be of assistance, Mr. Wayne. But while you're here, we've been working on some further upgrades for your car. Let me know where you'd like us to focus our efforts. Oh, yay. Batmobile upgrade. Open generator. Oh, shit. For example, you can say somewhere in Canada... Somewhere in America, somewhere in Europe, somewhere in Brazil, somewhere in New Zealand, somewhere in Russia, somewhere in Korea, somewhere in Greenland. Somewhere in Iceland. What do I think of Batman as Asian? I have no, no, I've never thought of that. An upgrade to your weapons generator. An upgrade to your weapons Excellent choice. I'll prepare it right away. Now if there's anything else you need, I'll be here all night. It's not like I could leave this city even if I wanted to. 
Here's the thing, if Batman was Asian, it would just have to be the right actor. That's it. It's and another thing is that no matter what, it's going to be a interesting take on the I should say interesting take on the character, but it would be an interesting adjustment because Batman's always been a white person. Even if it was voiced by someone who wasn't Take white, care, it's always been portrayed as a white person. Alfred. Made Alfred. Asian Spider-Man? They did. But they changed it. So instead of being like bid by radioactive spider, he got like a robot spider that was his friend. Not like Penny Parker, but very similar to that where he gets like a, spy, like a friend spider from the planet spider and now he has the spider powers and things like that. It's, it's different than Peter Parker. And it was like in the 70s. Like, it wasn't Nicholas Hammond, it was something else. Very much its own thing. It was Japanese, to be specific. You love this game? I love it, too. It's just beautiful. I don't even have graphics at max settings, either. I have it lowered, so that way it runs... I was going to say run smoother as we get choppy. They had a comic book of Spider-Man getting bitten. He basically can't stop having... Isn't that the one with Silk? Because it'll be interesting, because Silk is going to come in as... God! You like Red Dead? Confession. I've never played Red Dead Redemption. I'm not a big Rockstar fan. Rose Romania, Kevin? Eastern Europe. Okay. More specifically, I don't know. Don't you know I'm from America? We only we don't look anywhere outside our borders. Take care, Mr. Wayne. You know where to find me. Alfred, I've traced the Arkham Knight to the Miyagani tunnel system. Excellent news. Weird. I don't like that. <laughs> Rockstar is amazing. I respect Rockstar. I just never got into their games. Can I speak Spanish? Un poquito. Yo hablo español. Un momento para un momento y yo estudiaba español para seis años en mi escuela cuando yo tiene de nueve. Más o menos 12 años a 18 años. Hoy yo tengo a 25 años. Um, yo nunca necesito hablar español en mi um, vida todos los días porque... Um, porque yo no sé muchas personas uh, de... Hablando español. ¿Tú mexicano? ¿De dónde eres? En México. ¿De dónde eres? Mi amigo. ¿Ciudad de México? ¿Was there more characters? Marvel or DC? I don't know. <laughs> That's a Google question. <laughs> Very good, but it needs work. I know it needs work. My my Spanish isn't amazing. It gets by. Last year I was working at a um, lawn. I was working at applying people's lawn care, and I got a couple of compliments on my Spanish because I'd go up to people's houses and they wouldn't speak and they only spoke Spanish. A couple of houses, so I'd go up and I'd say. Hola, estoy aquí hoy para rociar tus obras malas. Tengas preguntas antes de empiezo. Or I'd say something like, Hola, uh, estoy aquí hoy para fertilizar su césped. Tengas preguntas antes de empiezo. And that's what I'd go with. Me Mexican and Irish. I have no idea what I am because my mom's family, like, completely, like, it, like, ignored all of their heritage and my dad was adopted and didn't bring any of 
how he was raised onto me and my brother. So, I have heritage, I just don't celebrate it. <laughs> so, I am boring American. <laughs> Did you see Spider-Man coming in the theaters? Uh, I've seen every Spider-Man movie in the theaters. All of them. Spider everything since Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man 2 everything since Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man which came out in 2002 I have seen every single Spider-Man movie Spider-Man 2002 was possibly the first movie I saw in theaters now I was like three years old but I likely went if not I was definitely there for Spider-Man 2 in 2004 because I was been about five Scarecrow is such a cool villain. You're four years old in 2002? I was born on December 24th, 1998. I was alive for exactly 53 weeks of the 1990s. This means that for 51 weeks out of the year, I am actually, essentially, waiting for my birthday. So, take right now for instance. It is April 1st, 2024. I am 25 years old. Most people, when they hear this, would think, oh, you're born in 1999. Well, no, I'm not. I'm born in 1998. But I'm born so late in 1998 that I effectively am born in 1999. So, like, I'm born in pre-1999. So... I will turn, I turned four in 2002, but when the movie came out in May, I would have only been three. Well, I want to say Spider-Man 2 came out in May. Do you ever see man take steroids? Technically, I have taken steroids, but they were prescribed steroids for when I was very sick. Now, the like anabolic steroids that you take to grow your muscles, no. Though I guarantee you that I have seen people who have taken it, I just never saw them physically take the materials, take, take, take the stuff. You won't beat me next time. Alfred, I'm at the tunnel entrance. Open the doors. Just a moment, sir. I'm accessing the building's security mainframe. Do I, did I ever smoke? No. It's a nasty habit. Here's the thing about smoking for me. Ready? In all seriousness, there is no reason anybody could ever con convince me to smoke in any capacity. The most I would ever, ever do, and I still probably won't do this, is the 0% nicotine vaping. Even then I probably won't do that. Haven't ever drank beer? I've been drinking beer on the stream. <laughs> That's the absolute most I'd ever get close to smoking. I will never smoke cigarettes. I will never smoke marijuana. Oh, as a teenager? No. No, I didn't, I didn't drink or sm drink as a teenager. Outside of like... Hey, Dad, mind if I try your beer? Outside of that, no. I didn't care. I was a weird person actually waited till drinking age. Which in America, for those who don't know, is 21. Now. Um, for smoking, it causes lung cancer. It's expensive as hell. You look stupid. And it causes unbelievable health problems. Just those alone, it's like, there's no reason to do it. And they say, like, oh, it calms you down. No, it actually speeds your heart rate up. And only the act of relieving and continuing your addiction to the cigarettes calms you down. It's not good for you in any capacity. There's no positive to smoking. None. No one could ever convince me to do it. It is a money pit to kill you faster. That's a double negative. It's actually probably more like a quadruple negative. I will never smoke in my life. What actually calms me down? Oh, for, for really quick, uh, do I know how to fight? I, I like to say I do. I've just never been in a fight. 
I'm six foot eight. I'm 280 pounds. If someone wants to fight me, they can. <laughs> but I am a building. I'm a walking deterrent. <laughs> the last time I got into a fight, I told you the story of my teammate Derek, who is still not. That's still not his name. I told you the story about Derek, and that wasn't really a fight. That was just me showing him that I'd meant business. The last time I got an actual like school right schoolyard scrap was when I was like in sixth grade. I was 12 years old. More than half... I've lived more life since that day than I lived up to that day. <laughs> um, Nick, I'll get to that in a second. What actually calms me down? Um, change, changing the subject at hand. If I'm stressed playing a video game, I will turn it off and do something else. That's what I love streaming. Because I have my game up here, but we're talking now. So I don't get stressed when I'm playing my video games when I'm on stream. I act like I might be getting stressed just to make it more fun. But all in all, like this is super relaxing to me. Other things, I don't drink. I do not drink to when I'm emotional because then I, it creates a dependency on the alcohol. I only drink when I'm relaxed and I'm looking to just have a good night. I don't think I've even been drunk in... I haven't been drunk in like three years. And if smoking doesn't calm me down, what comes... Changing the subject, effectively. If I'm stressed at work, I will take a break. And while I'm on my break, just the act of doing something else calms me down. I've practiced meditation. So uh, what I've learned with meditation is it's not about having your brain go silent. It's about letting all the thoughts come in and then come out. I have a playlist. I'm autistic. It might not show it. I'm not. I mask it well, but I'm autistic. One thing that helps that affects me a lot is I get orally, like ears. I get overloaded, and that stresses me out. I have a playlist on Spotify. I call overload. So if I ever get an overload, I pop in my noise canceling headphones, which these are not them. They're 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 up on my bed. And I will pop those in, and I will just listen to this, and that's all I will listen to. And that will calm me down. Don't look autistic? Like I said, I mask it well. If you met me in real life, you, you would tell, because my eyes do not look at people. My eyes are not on the camera. Here's the camera, and look at where my eyes are. <laughs> my eyes are weirdly watching myself on the screen. I have horrible eye contact horrible especially when i'm aware of myself not looking at people's eyes am i autistic technically yes i was uh i technically have asperger's is what it's called so it's like i am not i do i do not pick up on social cues it's one thing i like about streaming and i like reading text because there's no social cues to pick up <laughs> it's not expected for me to pick those up it that this is what i mean by i mask it well when I'm in, in in real life, like getting a little personal, there were a lot of cases in high school where I probably could have had a relationship with somebody because a girl liked me. But because I genuinely couldn't even tell, I was that clueless, then I never could tell. Have I been to special ed? No. I had friends who were, who were like genuine. I was always in the normal classroom. The only time I left the classroom was when I was like kindergarten, first grade. I had a speech therapist. One thing I had a problem with was, oh, what was it? I had a problem like whatever one, one exercise I would do, my teacher, I forget her name. She'd be like, all right, Kevin, here's a picture. It's right now, this is just music. But she'd be like, here's a picture of a race car. Tell me a story about this race car. And I'd have to tell an impromptu story about the race car. As a six group, as a six or seven year old. And like that's what I had to do. That's one of those my exercises. I think it was more of like I couldn't like get what's here out here at all. So can you ride to Canada where I live? Technically, yes, it is still a long drive. Hey Google. How long of a drive is it from Minneapolis, Minnesota to the Canada border? 
With light traffic, it will take you 8 hours and 43 minutes to drive from Minneapolis to Canada Border Services Agency, Sault Ste. Marie Port of Entry. According to that, it would roughly take me about 9 hours in light traffic to drive from where I'm at to Canada. 9 hours. I don't even cross a single state. <laughs> 9 hours straight north from where I live. So think about that one for a second. So finally what calms me down? Music calms me down. Changing what I'm doing calms me down. Reading comic books calms me down. Watching a movie will calm me down. Um, meditating calms me down. I will sit down and I will meditate. Oh, can I write a... No! <laughs> well, you could... If you lived near enough to the border, considering it's a nine hour drive from where I live, it is impractical to ride my bike to the border. It would, out of curiosity, hey Google, how long of a bike ride is it from Minneapolis to the border of Canada? Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> she couldn't even answer it. You see how long hair like me? I'll be honest, it's kind of annoying at times. I mean, I could ride my bike. It's just, I would never do it. <laughs> it's just too long of a too long of a ride. It's nine hours driving. A learning disability in school. Oh, well, you're here today. Learning disabilities don't make us better or worse. It just means that we need to learn a different way. Beer is gone. Yeah, let's go back to the game. Alfred, there's another blast door. I need you to open it. Oh dear. It seems they've locked We're calling Tony. He used to sneak out of school and go to the boobies. Don't worry, Alfred. I'll find I never did that. <laughs> I actually never skip school. If I skip school, because I actually had like a doctor's note. What's the worst thing about being drunk? Um, the spins is are pretty bad. Hangovers, if you get them. For me, I'm not prone to hangovers. I've luckily only had one in my life, and it wasn't even that bad. I had a very, very light hangover. You did get away with it a lot of times. Yeah, sometimes it happens. But the worst thing about being drunk to me was the spins and the nausea. That was the worst. So if I drink a lot, uh, a lot, a lot, I would, um, if I, if I drink a lot, when I'm trying to go to sleep, the room would feel like it's spinning, like constantly spinning. You know, it's not like you are aware that the room is not spinning. It's not like when you get drunk, you become stupid. It's just your senses are so dizzy, you're so inebriated that you genuinely feel like the room is spinning around you despite you standing, sitting completely still. I was so drunk one night, I was trying to go to sleep, I never lost consciousness, but an hour and a half passed for what felt like about four minutes. After the hour and a half, I bolted from my bed to the toilet and out the alcohol came. And that was a horrible night. But because I did that, it saved me from a hangover the next morning. I would have had a horrid hangover. So, my answer to the worst thing about being drunk is the nausea slash the spins. That's pretty bad. That's my experience as well. Some people, they are genuinely addicted to alcohol, so it's the active addiction to drinking alcohol that gets them.
progress on the cure. Getting there. Hey, I haven't heard from Barbara for a while. Is she okay? She's fine. She's working on something for me. It's important. But she's safe, right? Don't worry, Tim. Just keep working on that cure. Jimbo's hysterical overreaction. Will I ever fight? Like, get into a fight? Well, Not willingly. About Barbara, the way that little Will I ever fight us. Batman? She have got no. <laughs> you gotta be out of your mind to want to fight Batman, one of the best fighters best in the DC God, Universe. God. I mean, not very many characters are better. Like, Lady Shiva is probably the greatest fighter in the DC universe. In terms of, like, fighting skill. So let's recap. Barbara's kidnapped. How short are you? Face it, probably dead. You're lying to love a boy wonder about it. And dear old Jim's marched off on his lonesome to save the day. Not your best day at the office, Bats. <laughs> Something on your mind? Come on! Hmm. <sighs> you can't force him to slave over your cure. Plus, if he gets himself killed out there, you won't have to tell him about Barbara. <laughs> it's win win! I want the remote control battering. You think he's really gonna fix your nasty case of jokeritis? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm chronic, Boozy. I'm lingering. We both know. All right, I go know. for just a second. Okay, what kind of girls do I like? Um, I like any girl. This is gonna sound really sad. I'll like any girl that likes me. <laughs> that sounds really sad. What kind of girls do I like? I like girls that are driven. I like girls that know what they like. Ambitious. Yet very caring slash compassionate. And understanding. Cure for me. Genuine. That's a big word. Can you remember when it was that so that one is very important to me no matter who you are. Just you. Genuinity. What kind of nationality? Don't matter. Genuinely does not matter to me. No, just war. Oh, it's it was open the store. Right bang in the center. I thought I shut the fan off. Of course, like in any war, there are casualties. Right, it's inevitable. Here. Unavoidable. Like death. Well, so maybe not death. I seem to have sidestepped that one. <laughs> Still, not all of us are so lucky. Have I ever trespassed on private property? I think I technically have. Remember I used to live at the house. Of course you do. How could you I was going for a long like walk and I needed a bathroom, so I... I still knew who lived there, and they weren't home. And I really had to go. <laughs> I remembered the garage code. So... Technically, I've broken into pro private property, trespassed. But it was a place I used to live. 
Oh, hello, Maisie. We have a friend. Hi there, Maisie. You wake up from your nap? Your, like, two-hour nap that you just had? Remember in Halloween night, it was very dark, and no one see saw you, and you were pissed? What did you dress up as? Did you dress up that year? I think I've dressed up for Halloween in, like, 13, 14 years. It's probably been about 14 years since I've genuinely dressed up for Halloween. Last time I dressed up, Slender Man was very, very popular. Like, Slender in the Eight Pages had, like, just come out. It was very popular, so because I was very tall and uh, very white, I dressed up like Slender Man. Give me one second here. Giddy, 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 giddy. Sophie, Maisie. No, I had to pee in. No one saw me. Oh, okay. So I mean, that's not because it was bright outside or anything. It's just because you had to pee. I'm sorry, but that's that. That's kind of funny. You know, I'm going to change my controls really quickly. And we're not going to invert... Actually, we'll invert the flight controls. We're not going to invert the battering controls. Peed in the park and it was very dark at the time, so no one saw me. Well, that's a good thing. Ooh, that's a Riddler trophy. Yoink. Hi, diddle diddle, detective. I see you've begun pitting that mediocre mind of yours against my riddles. I had plenty of time to conceive them, Batman. Batman. When you left me back in the meat in Arkham City. I'm a Riddler, Batman. I don't suffer humiliation. I pay it back. So solve my riddles. Why am my neighborhood and it's nighttime, nobody goes out. I have no idea what you're trying to say there. Give me just one second, I'm gonna go get the cats. It'll take me like a minute. I'm not even gonna put the BR back screen up. Come here, cats. All right, I'm still here. Just got the cats, brought them into the room. Move, Sophie. Oh. Decided to get myself a ginger ale. You're getting a dog? Ooh, what breed? Oh, in your neighborhood, no one comes out? Show the cats on screen? All right. We're Maisie. Sophie. Sophie. You look yourself later. We got... Sophie here with the white paws. My my right hand right here. That's Sophie. Right here. This one's Maisie. Ever spied on anyone before? No. Hey dear. No. I have not spied on anyone before. Hi there. They're so cute. Aren't they? Just absolutely adorable. 
Yeah, they're adorable. They're getting bigger because, well, they're growing. Like, we like to say that they got tummies now. <laughs> oh, now they're meowing. But they really like me. This one does. <laughs> Sophie is just very personable. Aren't you? Have I ever beat someone's dogs up? No. <laughs> I'm not a violent person. Will if I need to? Yes, I will go down fighting. Have I ever met a psychopath or sociopath? Guarantee it. I've met them, I just couldn't pick them out. Because it's like proven that someone walks by like one in seven people are like psychopaths or anything like that. So like on average, or maybe like the number is like on average somebody walks by like ten psychopaths a day or something like that. I forget what the numbers are, but I guarantee you I've met one. Alright. What's the difference? Oh, oh, what is the difference? Hey Google, what's the difference between a psychopath and a sociopath? On the website Forbes.com, they say... Sociopaths tend to act more impulsively and erratically compared to psychopaths. Sociopaths generally struggle to maintain a job or a family life, whereas psychopaths may be able to do so. While psychopaths generally struggle to form attachments, sociopaths may be able to do so with a like-minded individual. So, basically the, the difference between a psychopath and a sociopath. Psychopaths are more hidden they're likely not going to empathize with you very well. They're likely not going to show a lot of emotion. They're going to be very hard to connect with personally. But they're not going to be very impulsive. A sociopath, on the other hand, also psychopaths are still going to be able to get jobs and they're still able to work and still able to function in society. There's actually a theory of high-functioning psychopaths. Like, there's a theory that people like Mark Zuckerberg are psychopaths because you can't personally connect with them they're not dangerous on a physical level they're not gonna physically harm you but they're they're not gonna care about you so in that sense like the the rumor is if according to like if this movie the social network is true Mark Zuckerberg screwed over a lot of people to gain his fame and fortune and if it's true that he is a psychopath a high-functioning psychopath he feels no remorse, no regret for what he did. Assuming that's all true. Just using him as an example. A sociopath are people who are much more dangerous. If you'd rather meet a psychopath or a sociopath, the answer is psychopath. You'd rather, you'd rather meet ne neither, that's the real answer. If you had to meet somebody who was a psychopath or a sociopath, meet the psychopath. It's not going to be pleasant, but... I think, statistically speaking, you're going to be safer with a psychopath than a sociopath. A sociopath is likely still going to empathize with you to some degree. But they're going to be very much more impulsive. When you watch a show like Criminal Minds or CSI, NCIS, most of the killers in those shows are sociopaths. They act more on impulse. A lot of things are more emotionally driven they're not going to be able to function in society because of their impulsivities. And so it's going to be harder for them to get jobs. They're likely to be working at places that have, have high turnovers, places like restaurants or um, gas stations, like places that have high turnover rates. They're going to be hiring and firing all the time. That's the general difference between a psychopath and a sociopath.
Honestly, if I didn't go into music, I would have loved to go into psychology. What do you do if you think of a psychopath or sociopath? That would be a very dangerous person. That would be somebody, if they were happen to be both a psychopath and a sociopath, they would be somebody who couldn't function in society, acted on impulse, had no emotion or could not connect to them emotionally, and did not empathize with you whatsoever. Zero empathy. And... It would be very difficult because psychopath by definition can fit in society and sociopath by definition cannot. So I think it's technically that you cannot be diagnosed as both psycho and sociopath, but you could have be diagnosed as one by having traits of the other. So you could have a sociopath that has, you know, cannot function in society, has the impulse, can, in, impulse problems, and you also have the psychopathic trait of having little to no empathy. Hey man, just popping in to let you know I've once again found the worst music adjacent thing. Everyone, say hello to Silver. This is one of my uh, col this is one of my college buddies. And y you have my number. You have the Discord. You can send it. I'm not gonna like it, but you can send it. What, what happened if they were mixed together? I think, by definition, they cannot be mixed together. Alright, I, I got it. Like, it's not a matter of hypothetical, like... It's like saying, what if... You mixed fire and ice. Like, it's just gonna hit neutral. Like... Or, not. that's a bad example. What would happen if you mixed... You know, I don't know what a good example is. Like, it's not something you can mix. You're not me. Oh, I didn't block. I didn't. What's funny is that there was a lot more of these guys out there in the other room. What about psychotic? I think that has more to do with, um... Oh, what's the term? Not psychosis. Um, I forget what the term is, but it has to do with like a break of reality. So like you can't discern reality from um, your 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 um, your your brain cannot dis discern its thoughts from reality. Want to see trespassing in movies? Sure. Dissociation or whatever. Yeah. More or less. But there's actually like a term. I think it's psychosis, where like you genuinely like it's a genuine like reality dissertation problem. You know, somebody who almost fell out of, of a helicopter. I hope they're okay. How's life treating you, Silver? Hope you're doing well. Dodge this! Here, hold this. <laughs> I 
Um, alive. CNA classes are nine fifty to apply, but I have the money saved up. Nice. Have I ever drove a truck before? Like a pickup truck? Yes. Like a semi truck or a, you know an eighteen wheeler or a big rig? No. Kevin, am I crazy? Yes. The biggest vehicle I've ever driven was a front end loader. That's the that's the biggest vehicle I've ever driven. It was a front end was a commercial sized front end loader. I just died. Like how crazy am I? I'm crazy that I stream my video game playing to the internet and call it fun. I'm crazy in the sense that I record numbers for my work and my and for my personal use. So that way I can see how much better I'm getting at my own job. If a psychopath and a sociopath are mixed together, it'd be scary and dangerous. It would be... But at the same time, you can't mix them perfectly because psychopath by definition can function in society, where sociopath by, sociopath by definition can't. They, they, it's it's, un, it's an unstoppable force meets a movable object similar arguments. It's that they're not going to mix. However, been smashed by a big wave at the beach? Yes. I Well, not smashed by a big wave, but I've been pulled in by the riptide. It was not fun. No bueno. I know you can make tough and crazy together. I mean, you can, but that's not what psychopath and sociopath together makes. Time to rescue Arkham and make the Arkham Knight pay. I see you back in the car, Master Bruce. I'm going after the Knight. He's here in the tunnels. Then let us hope he has Miss Gordon. Last year in January on holiday, you were flogged by a massive wave. That sentence sounded Australian. Can you mix scary and crazy at the same time? Yeah, it's called like Jeffrey Dahmer. You know, Ted Bundy. Still not a fan of the Batmobile. Go the wrong way. So it's about to not feel emotions correctly if at all psychopaths or delusions. Yep. I hope the game didn't save too long ago. <laughs>
We are experiencing technical difficulties. They can absolutely mix. Example, the one business dude movie. You, you mean American Psycho? That is actually a good example of it mixing. Though, would somebody like that actually exist in real life? Hi, Parker. Sociopathic psycho. Oh, Silver. I have friend. Or friends. I have friends. <laughs> I has I has friends. <laughs> Mr. Maniac is my name. <laughs> I believe it. Yes, felines. This one here with the white paws and my right by my watch that one is Sophie <laughs> you're hilarious and this one's Maisie oh you're so cute You're both adorable, aren't you? Yeah. Had to, they're adorable though. I mean, I, I knew you were gonna make a joke like that. I had to, but I had to share them. But what's even cuter is that they actually like to lay belly up. They enjoy it. So you can actually hold them like babies. And they'll just sit there and purr. They're not purring right now, but... <laughs> Whoa. For the record, the names Pussy and Galore came up at one point. Or Octo Pussy. <laughs> they were not in contention for very long. The only names that actually combated Maisie and Sophie were Suki and Luna. That's what those were the names that were combated and uh debated on the longest. Was it going to be Suki or Maisie or Luna or Sophie? And after about a week, it was like five or six days of going back and forth on names, we had Maisie and Sophie. Oh yes, the soccer trauma names. <laughs> For the record, Silver, Suki was chosen because we wanted a name of a single cat it was an impulse decision to get two by my mother and I was asked what is a cute female name that has some spunk to it I just so happened to have just watched the entirety of the last airbender if you look over my left shoulder underneath the posters those are all of the avatar comics <laughs> I w and I had watched the live-action Netflix series twice Avatar was very much on the brain, and Suki and Toph were the two names that I had in mind. Suki was cuter, Toph was tougher. As, as my name is Toph, because it sounds like tough. You know, but... My mom genuinely really liked the name. But Luna came up, not because of, not because of Yue, 
but because Suki in Japanese means moon. And Luna just happens to be Spanish for moon. And no other reason. Like, both names mean moon. Why moon? I don't know. And it rolled off the tongue ball. My mom really liked the name Suki, but it couldn't stick in her brain. And these are more her cats than my cats. Even though they stay with me most of the time. <laughs> and they've actually grown more of an attachment to me, I feel like. Would I ever poke a cat? Like, poke, 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 like that? I just did. Put your leg down. This ain't that kind of stream. <laughs> she is sleeping, by the way. Or at least her eyes are shut. Listen, Sophie. Violently poker cat. Poker? I barely know her. Oh, you're so adorable. I still have a stream to do. You two are adorable. But what if I just sit you over here? Boom. Bed. But, do I like Doberman or Wattweilers? I do. I personally don't own them. I have Shih Tzu Terriers. They're adorable. But I do like Doberman and Rottweilers. I just don't have a Doberman or never ever had a Doberman or a Rottweiler. But they're nice dogs. I like them. Or cool dogs. Rottweilers have a, have a, uh, what's the word? reputation of uh, being violent how far am I in the story I've only there's only the third stream and we've been kind of goofing off throughout it says 11% but that's like not just the story there's there's more to it than that story synopsis you like it when they're violent yeah, to each their own I personally do not. I like having a lapdog. I prefer having pets for companionship rather than protection. violent what is it about violent women that you like no come on Don't crash on me. They say crazy stuff. That is true. Imagine Batman went insane. Yeah, it's called the Batman who laughs. Where is the Arkham Knight? You won't find him. You think I didn't know you were tracking my broadcast location? <laughs> Here's a lesson, Batman. I know how you think, which means I know how to beat you. Where is he? With Barbara. 
What time is Batman? Who laughs? Batman Who Laughs is from Earth Negative 22. Where he effectively... he At this universe, he actually kills the Joker. But the Joker has a toxin that he then exhales in his final breath. And it... And it influences Batman to essentially become the Joker. So within about a week or so, he has fully become the Joker. He kills the entire Bat family. And then he kills the entire Justice League, leaving Superman last, killing him. And then um, goes across the multiverse and just causes mayhem. It's a phenomenal idea, and it, it's good in a couple stories, but overall, it's just an angsty Batman. Like, it's just edgy. It's not the, it's far from the best Batman story. But is it fun? Yeah. Thank you. Alfred, I need you to find out everything you can about North Refrigeration. Of course. May I inquire why? Penguin supplying arms to the Arkham Knight, and right now the best lead we have to finding Barbara. I'll look into it right away, sir. Ah, I can see Mr. Fox is trying to contact you. Lucius. Mr. Wayne, your new Batmobile upgrade is ready to deploy. The Batwing is... Why are there no boats at the airport? I want you... to think about that sentence. Sir, I, I don't mean to make that sound rude, to but I your think your answer's in your sentence. My cat just jumped on my knee. There she is. It's Sophie. You cannot have my ginger ale. Nope. How strong is Batman Who Laughs? It's just Batman without a moral code. So, I mean, he's effectively just Batman. But imagine Batman with Joker's morality. That's what the Batman Who Laughs is. She's just watching the screen. Sir, we just tracked a fast moving aircraft heading in on Grand Avenue. This thing just pulled a J turn, clocking in at 12 G. I don't know anything that can do that. I do. Sure, what it means to go to war. Imagine Bruce and the Arbite became the Batman who laughs. Would not be fun. Would not fit the story. Would not like it. Zero, zero out of ten. Would not like it. The Batman Who Laughs story is one that I enjoy being in its own universe. I'm not a fan of it, like, being everywhere. I'm glad it's pretty much done. They're not really going with that much anymore. <laughs> and honestly, I'm happy. Because the Batman Who Laughs was a very fun thing, but... You know what? Like having... Like being a kid, you know, that whole like... As a kid you want to have like ice cream for dinner, stuff like that. After a while it gets really kind of tiring. It's like... After a while you kind of want your fruits and veggies. That's how I felt, you know, about the Batman Who Laughs. It's just like... It was fun, but I'm, I'm done with it. I'll get to your other message here in just a second. I'm just going to kill this one last dude because they do not make Batmobile stuff interesting. Do you know Lex Luthor actually paid the military? Um, I'm sure he did, and a lot of stories becomes president. It would make sense.
Imagine an airport with boats, but it's called seaport. Yeah, it's just called port. Yeah, it's called a seaport or just port. There's a reference when the f soldiers are talking about him. Oh, cool. Nightwing. I've never liked the Arkham Nightwing suit. It is too extra. Tales of Teen Titans number 44. I have that comic. <laughs> it's on my comic book wall. For the record, it's not the first appearance of Dick Grayson. It's the first appearance of Nightwing. So we've done a third of the story. Is it cute blue? Is what cute blue? Let's see what Nightwing's got on North Refrigeration. If I find Penguin, I'll find the Arkham Knight. Indeed, sir. Master Grayson confirmed he'll meet you on the building overlooking the Ranala Ferry Terminal. Dick Grayson versus Red Hood, who do you think will win? I would give it to Dick Grayson because he would just attack Red Hood's, like, um, impulsives. And Dick Grayson having likely been around during Jason's training. Jason has just guns, and Dick Grayson deals with guns all the time. It would be interesting. I'd still give it to Dick Grayson. using freezer trucks to smuggle weapons out of Bloodhaven. Now, I think he's stockpiling arms right here in Gotham. The question is where. Cobblepot's the best lead we have on Barbara. I need to find that weapons cache. If I can intercept one of his trucks, it'll lead me right to him. Huh. If only you knew someone who's been tracking their movements. What? You didn't really think I'd come here without a plan, did you? I'll handle this. You're needed back in Bloodhaven. Come on, Bruce. Look, let me help. You can't do it all on your own. Batman versus Nightwing, who'd win in a fight? Batman. I won't risk losing anyone else. Bloodhaven needs Batman's more ruthless. Right. Nightwing is more optimistic. Take a hint. But if you want to keep tabs on that truck, you're gonna need this. It's a prototype straight out of R and D. The old fox has outdone himself this time. I'll see you around, Bruce. What's the longest I've ever streamed for? Five, six hours? And that was back when, like, I was a student and I had, like, a day off to stream. I streamed for, like, five or six hours. Nowadays, I, with a full-time job and giving music lessons, it's like, I don't have the time nor the energy to do, like, five, six hour streams. What do I like? Like, in general? What do I like? Why does Dick Grayson look different? Because I put a I put a skin on him because I don't like the Arkham look. It's too over the top. What year did I join YouTube? I started this channel in 2020. My very first video was a DC Universe Online video. I think it has one view. Maybe. My, my channel's gone through a few different eras, starting out as me streaming on Twitch, and I wanted to um, have a place to post like highlights and maybe 
random other videos. That's what you, the YouTube channel is originally going to be. And after that, I had it become um, a place where I posted videos where I used my Patrick Warburton Kronk impression. You know this one, you know. Uh, I got that there, he's mine. I made a video where I read the entirety of Edgar Allan Poe's The Raven. I did a video where I read the entirety of The Cat in a Hat as Kronk. Um... Where using that impression, I read the entirety of The Raven, The Cat in the Hat, and a bunch of different movie lines and stuff like that. And then after that, I did, like, music stuff, and that's why I started doing, like, the theme songs for superheroes. I still do that. Booster Gold just came out yesterday. And, um, yeah. How old was I in 2013? Most of the year, 14. I turned 15 in 2013. Like I said, I was born at the end of the year, so... For the majority of the year, I'm actually 14, but I turned 15. What are you doing? The other cat's licking my foot. What year did I play Life for, De Life for Dead? Or, like, Left for Dead? Long Probably about 2013. <laughs> oh, where's my disruptor? There's my disruptor. I've only got three shots. I should pick my targets wisely. The crate's electrified now. Anyone trying to resupply is in for a shock. What? There's no way I'd be telling you. You know why? There's three. It movies, not two, because of the old one. There are three It movies. I've seen all three of them. Technically, the, that old It movie is also two movies. They just showed them back to back. The two hour and a half long movies for one long three hour movie. So, technically, there's four It movies. Oh my god, my cats are annoying me so much. Sabotaged. I should target the firearms they're holding. Let that disable the firearm. If I use the disruptor again, it'll explode when fired, knocking out the user and flooring anyone nearby. Equipment sabotaged. Time to introduce. What makes me angry? I don't know. It's hard to make me angry. I'd have to think about that one. I think it's mostly when people don't respect me, my wishes, and like blatantly disrespect my wishes, boundaries, time, things like that. For example, there's a story when I was in college, my roommate had a, had one of his friends over. I have never been friends with this individual. And so, my roommate and him were get drinking and they got drunk and my friend or my roommate's friend who I was not my friend had decided that he was going to go into my bedroom and try to get in bed with me as I was sleeping trying to get sleep before going on a basketball tournament where I was it wasn't that he was trying to sleep with me he was trying to just get into my bed he was so drunk he didn't know I was there. And so I had to kick him out of my room. He passed out on my floor. I wasn't going to move him. I was A, too tired. B, had just fallen asleep. Like that feeling where you're finally drifting off into sleep. And he bursts into my door that I didn't have a lock for, by the way. I wasn't able to get a lock on that door. And then crashed and he crashed on my floor and then as like an hour later he gets up or whatever it was wakes me up again as he goes and passes out in the bathroom on our toilet he pissed me off immensely that weekend so that made me angry it's mostly when people just don't respect me my boundaries my wishes things like that now you don't have to like me 
but if you don't respect me, then I don't have to like you back. I don't have to respect you. What do you hate about people that do you... What do you hate about people that do on your stream? That... that what... Tag the truck before startling the thugs what? Inside. <laughs> tag the truck before startling the thugs inside. Now I just need to give them a little motivation to lead me back to their hideout. What did you per... Yeah... What do you mean by what do you hate about people that do on your stream? If I stick to the rooftop, if they hear the car, they'll be spooked. I need to follow them. The vehicle tracker will remain locked, even through buildings, as long as I keep the target in view and within range. What the hell are you doing? Are you trying to kill us? So what do you hate that people do on my stream? There's nothing that I hate. Are the things that I like about what we talk about in my stream more than others? Of course. I think any stream would be lying if they said that there were things that... If they said that they like everything about people talk about in their stream equally. I think if there was one thing that I hate when people hop into my stream and they like talk about... Is if they tried to control my stream. If they tried to control what I do. Control what I say. Um, if they try to essentially take over my stream, that makes me unhappy. That makes me angry. Because this is my stream. It is my channel. Literally my name on the channel. Like... I hate it when... The one thing I would hate, do I have rules on my stream? If you go to Twitch, there's a rule set in there. But... I don't think that rule set has made it over to YouTube quite yet. Have I been... Have I been pranked before? Yeah, I have an older brother. Of course I was pranked. I've been to college. I have an older brother. I was part of... I was on so many different sports teams. Of course I've been pranked. Towels thrown into rafters... Getting towels stolen while you're trying to, you know, go take a shower, shit like that. I can't confirm he has been pranked. Yep. Go ahead and tell a story. I'll let you tell a story of when I was pranked. Take your pick. Do I have an iPad? No. I do not have an iPad. I am not the biggest fan of Apple products. I have a single Apple product. It is my MacBook Pro. And the only reason to have it is for music production software. Do I remember any? Head empty, brain smooth. Eh, sounds about right. But when you think of one three head, let me know. One thing I hated about my streams, and this is like early days, like years ago. Um, when I was in college, I was doing live streams. I'd only been doing live streams for about two months at this point. On Twitch, I was on track to getting affiliate within the next couple of... Within, within the next month, I was actually on track to getting affiliate. But I was... What the streams became was just an excuse to get drunk. And we played drinking games all the time. And I love playing drinking games. I love drinking with my friends. I love streaming. But I could not mix the three of them together. So, I knew that if I got affiliate while doing the drinking games, that's what everyone is going to want to watch. And I couldn't bring myself to watch... No way you're me going in the 
I couldn't bring myself to have my channel be effectively just drinking. Drinking games are fun, getting drunk on stream was not a good idea. No. I remember I went up to my roommate. I'm going to leave him nameless for right now. I went up to my roommate at the time, and I said, Look, I, I can't be doing the drinking games on stream anywhere. we got to stop. I would be more than happy to, you know, still stream with you, but we can't... Th there, there can be no alcohol on stream, or at least there couldn't be, like, drinking games. And the idea of, like, why the drinking games started was we wanted to do something fun that would eat up, like, the first 10 to 15 minutes of a stream so that we, you know, we wouldn't start right away and there would be more people that would come in. It'd be, like, me talking to you guys before I start playing the games for about the first 10 to 15 minutes. I, like, 8 to 9 minutes of a starting soon screen. I talk to you guys for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then we start whatever the stream is about. So the stream actually starts about... 20 to 30 minutes after I hit the go live button. But I'm still working, working, about 10 minutes after I press the go live button. And those first 10 minutes is me like setting the thumbnail, getting all the YouTube settings set up and things like that. Making sure everything's working, you know. And so that way the stream can run. I don't have to worry about being on camera for those first few minutes and make sure everything's running right. Now, I was very much not happy with where the streams were going. So, yeah, we, we up and stopped that channel. I think it took me about three to four weeks to get even a chat in my stream. A single person typing anything in my chat box. It took about three to four weeks after cutting out the drinking games before someone even chatted in my stream. What's one thing I hate about my I hate about life? You're making me look stupid here. I hate how out of no fault of my own, I am screwed in the economy. I hate it when I'm screwed out of things that I can't control. How much is it to to flight in the USA? Like, how much is a flight in the USA? It depends on where you're going. What do we do about the bad? Batman. Don't worry about Batman. He's about to become extinct. Yeah, we lost him. He's nothing. See, I told you. I couldn't even keep up with you. Even people take advantage of people. Yeah, that's 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 the worst. That's pretty bad. What do you think about bullying? It's 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 horrible. Damn it! Have you heard about the plane called the Airbus 8380? I feel like I have. Whoever thinks advantage... Whoever takes advantage of people is a coward. So what do I think about bullying? It's 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 horrible. I myself was bullied. This is you handling it, right? I was the new kid at this school, and I got bullied because I was new and I was tall and I was different. I was mostly bullied through exclusion. I would not be invited to things. I would not be. I was not even allowed to have my papers graded by my classmates because they wanted that little to do with me. It was a very lonely six years. 
people said that middle school is going to be tougher because, you know, like, oh, middle school is going to be tougher socially. You're going to have to deal with it all, all this and all that. And I'm like, okay, bring it on. And I go into middle school and it was easier because everyone was suddenly a new kid. And it was just suddenly so much easier because no one cared anymore. When I was in elementary school, I was excluded from virtually everything. I remember I did summer school one year. I forget why, but I did summer school one year. And I ended up... Ah, oh, Nightwing. Cool. I remember I ended up... Um, having the most fun because I was with a bunch of kids I didn't go to school with every day. Because I went to, like, a different elementary school. So, I nat... Because everyone was just kind of new with each other. I was actually having fun. I didn't make any, like, friends. Like, in terms of, like, hanging out outside of class. But, I at least got to have a half-decent, like, school life. Even if it was only for a couple weeks. I'm not trying to be mean, but I didn't read the comments right. Uh, I'm also distracted because I'm in a big fight scene. So, yeah. And I don't mean to be mean when I say this, but you guys don't exactly write with the most proper grammar. So it's... I, I also have to, like, inter try to interpret what you guys are saying. It's a... Oh, it was a big massive plane that... You went on when you went, in, went to America? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, the, I've never heard of that plane. I think I'm thinking of, like, the Malaysian Flights 370 that, like, disappeared. Do I like you? Yes. I do. I like everybody until they give me a reason not to like them. You a fast typer? You are. Bruce, you need to let me help. I told you, I need you back in Bloodhaven. Scarecrow, these weapons, this all... Bullying has consequences? Too. It does. The best place for me is here. I ended up moving back the to Minnesota. Penguin has been running into Gotham and... Everything. Moving back to Minnesota was great because I got to get a fresh start and everyone up here was so much nicer. Is there a reason why you like me? Yeah, I, I enjoy these conversations. And like I said earlier, like, I like everybody until they give me a reason not to like them. Are you out of your tiny mind, bats? Pull that trigger and you'll kill us both. trigger and you'll blow us both normally i pay good money to see that kind of thing but we really don't have the time is this where i want to go i'm going after barbara i'll contact you as soon as i track down any of penguin's trucks thanks dick i appreciate it what are friends for, Bruce? Well, what do you know? The old team back together again. You should head to those airships. I can handle things here. Closing the vault door will contain the explosion. What the? Oh, this vault door. Gotcha. Yeah, because someone will be able to carry this. What are you doing? Bats? Come on! Don't lock me in here. I'll do anything. The lock be done, I'll do it. How about a hundred? You got it! <laughs> I wouldn't like to be that guy. <laughs> I'm not far enough away to detonate the explosive. Oh my god.
Oop, hit another one. Have I played Minecraft? Yes, I have played Minecraft. Have I played Minecraft recently? No. Am I a good Minecraft player in terms of like taking out the Ender Dragon? Never done it, nor do I care to. But yes, I have played Minecraft many times. My cat just fucking scratched me. What stuff do I build? I just build big forts, forts and houses. I, it's kind of boring, to be honest. Basically, I'll start a new world and I'll consider it done when I have a house where I can quite literally do anything in it. Where I could live entirely within the house without ever having to leave. That's when I consider it done. Or if I'm in creative, I'll like make cool... Like some pixel art. I used to do that when I was younger. I haven't done it recently, though. God, stupid cats. I apparently don't give the cats enough attention. I built an underground house. And yes, I actually go... My go-to is a cave house, at the very least. Not underground, but in a cave. Because that means the bigger the house gets, the more material you have. I had every opportunity to grapple, but I just didn't do it. Now, what have we got here? A good old-fashioned ambush. Oh, you wait there, Max. Let your dear old Uncle Jay. Have I been Roblox? No. Do we just walk out the front door? The soldiers. Door covered. They'll see any gadget coming from inside this room. Just figure out another way. How are we going to get out of this mess? Have played Super Mario 64? Not in a long time. I never actually owned a 64 growing up, so whenever I wanted to play a game that was from the 64, I had to play it at a friend's house. Alright, so I need to leave here undetected. Bullies are idiots, they never realize that you fuck around, you're gonna find out. Yeah. Realize that you fuck around, you're gonna find out. Did I just read that like two minutes ago? Like not even two minutes ago? I am getting tired, man. After I finish this mission, I think I'm gonna call it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty tired.
Personally, I would have used live rounds. Alfred, what do you have on Simon Stagg? Now, let's see. The CEO of Stagg Enterprises, a company that specializes in advanced medical research and development. I'm heading to Stagg's airships now. Scarecrow was on his way there, and that's our only link to finding Barbara. The threat analysis indicates that Founders Island is covered by the militia's long-range radar and missile launchers. The Batmobile will be detected and targeted as soon as you cross the bridge. Don't worry, Alfred. I'll go in on foot and stick to the rooftops. Find me the schematics of those airships. Right away. Best of luck, sir. Yeah, I think I'm, uh... I think I'm gonna call it. I'm tired. It's almost 11. Uh, I have work tomorrow, and I'm helping around the house tomorrow as well, so... I got shit to do. This shit's gonna have nuts in it. Quoting a little bit of Deadpool there. But, I had a lot of fun tonight. Made some good progress. We're about 40% through the story. So... Good night. Adios. I'm just closing out of the game. Exits. Yep. Save less than a minute ago. Perfect. What day am I going to stream? No idea. I will stream when I go live. I'll probably stream Wednesday, but I can't guarantee that this week. I'll do the best. I, I'll, I'll do what I can. No chat GPT streams until the phase two video comes out. I will plan to get that up here relatively soon. So, for now, um, yeah, I'll have some fun. But as of right now, I'm exhausted. I'm going to go to bed. Next stream will be when it happens, and you will have a great night. Adios.